As we continue with the action here, we go into the 56 kg open category. Uh, we have Anthony Joseph from the World Class Boxing Gym. Anthony Joseph, remember on Tuesday night, the, actually the first night of competition, he won his bout over young Kareem Briggs of YTC. And on Friday night, he came up against Shakir Garcia, which was a classic bout. And Anthony Joseph came out victorious. Now, Anthony Joseph in the red corner. And his opponent is Aaron Comerbatch. Aaron Comerbatch, another boxer who was representing Trinidad and Tobago at international competition, has been inactive for some time. So it's going to be very interesting to see young Joseph, how he faces against his much more experienced uh, opponent, Aaron Comerbatch. So it's the 56 kg open category, Anthony Joseph of World Class and his opponent, Aaron Comerbatch, Aaron Comerbatch in the blue corner. So we get set here for the action. The referee for this bout is Latoya Providence. Latoya, a former female uh, boxer. And it's Joseph against So it's Joseph against Kamabach. Kamabach, as I said, one of the pro good prospects in boxing. So Kamabach here trying to land that right hand. It's been backed up against the rope there by, by Joseph. A lot of move, a lot of movement by Komovac. Joseph putting some pressure. Komovac looking. One of Kom uh, Joseph's main weapon is the, the the punch to the midsection, and we are seeing him there trying to go to the midsection of Komovac very early, and for uh, he gets one inside there is Joseph. Komovac yet to launch an attack uh, again. Joseph going down a bit too low there has been worn there by a, a, a body shot by Joseph. A body shot to the midsection. What I was referring to, a straight right from Joseph. And, and, uh, and uh, Kamabash holding and punching. Lucky to escape without a warning there is Kamabash. And a right from Joseph. Kamabash trying to establish that job. So a very tactical fight here by both boxers. A lot of movement there by, by young Joseph. If he didn't some punches thrown there by Kamabash. Kamabash trying to keep Joseph at bay with that. Uh, 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 well, both boxers there connecting. A, a left from Joseph. A left from Joseph. And he backs Kamabach up against the rope. And he. What is nice about Joseph, he knows when he has his opponent in, in problem and he continues to apply the pressure. A good first strong there in this day. 56 kg open Anthony Joseph from World Class Boxing Gym. and. Uh, Aaron Comerbatch from the Cosmic Boxing Gym.
member viewers this is the national championships coming to you from the cosmic gym right here in maribella and it's on your station ax television network the official station for the trinidad and tobago amateur boxing association Second round action begins. Joseph applying the pressure here on Kamabach. Has Kamabach back in? A lot of movement there from Kamabach. A right from Kamabach walks into a left from Joseph. Joseph backs him up against the rope. Looking to get to the body there is Joseph. A right from Joseph. So pressure building here on Kamabach. As he continues to backpedal on Joseph. Joseph, a very strong young man, continues to go forward. A jab from Joseph. A, a left from Joseph. Nice movement there by Joseph. Come on, Bashir coming in there with a punch. But Joseph, the more busy of the bold fighters. And some good, strong body shots there by Joseph. And uh, Joseph is taking the bout now to, to, to come about. Come about should have to use all his experience. Again, he backs come about up against the rope and goes to the body there is Joseph. Left and right by Joseph. And uh, Kamabash is going to be one there again for hitting behind the head. What a great performance here. This is the third time we are seeing um, young Joseph. Anthony Joseph. And uh, I can tell you he has not let off from where he started on Tuesday. So I am sure that he has set his mind on being selected for the Trent Bago team, maybe even for a shot at the Olympics. Remember, these boxers here are vying for upcoming tournaments to represent Trent and Tobago. And as I said, young Anthony Joseph, certainly one of the brighter prospects here in amateur boxing. So Kamabach will have to do a lot in this third round here if he's to be crowned national champion. Again, it has Kamabach a, a right, a right, and he backs Kamabach out, and he some heavy punches there, and you can see the determination in this young, this young chap here, and he is, he is standing, and good shots there. He has Kamabach in some problems, and he goes to the body. 
And what is what is nice about young Joseph, he can take a punch. And uh, lefts and rights. Lefts and rights from young Joseph. Kamabash now has been taken apart here. A left to the section there by Joseph. Kamabash has been encouraged by the supporters to jab. And uh, Joseph is beating the head tie off of off of Kamabash head. So Kamabash has beaten the headgear off of Kamabash head. And a right, what a shot! What a shot from, from Joseph. A left from Joseph. And definitely, this has to be the so far the boxer of the tournament, Anthony Joseph. And definitely his opponent is a very experienced boxer. So for young Anthony Joseph to be Performing the way he is against Kamabas says great things here for this young chap. And left and right. And the crowd is up in arms here, supporting young Anthony Joseph. A left from Joseph. Kamabas definitely has no answer for young Joseph. Good movement there from, from Joseph to evade those punches. Backs Kamabas against the rope and of leads. Left and right. Good again. Great skills here by a right, a right from Joseph. Sends the head of Kamabash to Kamabash. And uh, Kamabash, Joseph is going one there, but a, a left, a right. A back up against Robert Kamabash. A, a right from, Kamab from Joseph. A, a, what a shot. A, Kamabash is, in, Kamabash is in danger of being TKO here, but still managed to stay, to stay and take the punches of young Joseph. Kamabash, punches are lacking power. And the last 10 seconds here in this bout. What a great performance by Anthony Joseph. And, uh, the crowd stands in appreciation here of young Anthony Joseph. This guy is certainly a, a, a boxer of the future. What great performance here, and his opponent was no walkover. Aaron Kamabach is one of the great boxing amateur boxers of yesteryear, and he still has a lot. And for this young guy to come in here and put on a performance as what we saw here, it spells great opportunity here for Anthony Joseph representing Trinidad and Tobago in the not too distant future. So as we get the official results here, we have young Anthony Joseph of World Class Boxing Gym being crowned the 56 kg open category. But as I said before, on the three occasions that Anthony Joseph has walked into the ring, he has showed brilliance in his uh, boxing ability and I definitely think that young Anthony Joseph is a great prospect for the amateur boxing in Trinidad and Tobago. One of the better fights over the last couple of days um, and I'm sure we are going to be seeing much more of Anthony Joseph in the near future. And we continue here with the action in the 60 kg open category, we have uh, Jude Franklin from the Ultimate Boxing Gym. Uh, his opponent is Mike Innes from Biomel. Uh, we will recall on Friday, uh, Jude Franklin had a victory over Anderson Dugadin. Well, Jude really didn't have a test in that bout. So, it's going to be interesting to see how he comes up against here. And already, Mike Innes from Biomel is not sticking around. He is taking the bow to Jude. And uh, 
it's a rough house. It's a slug fest so far here between uh, Innes and uh, Franklin. And what a left hand from Jude Franklin. And Innes took that shot without a flinch. So as I said with Jude Franklin, he had a very easy opponent in Dugadin. But he is in a he is in a boat here with Innes. Innes is not uh, Dugadin. And he's he's taking the boat to he's taking the boat to and a, 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 a looping right hand there from, from Innes. A right from Jude. And Jude is pung in the body of Innes. And a, a right from Jude. And a left to the midsection. And Innes needs to come off the rope. And he's going to be won for holding and hitting. But Jude Franklin definitely putting a, a, a whooping, swinging right hand from, from Innes and a nice movement there from, from Jude. Jude, Jude now starting to get into a groove there and a right, a solid right to the side of Innes. Warren's are standing in Kong. So Jude Franklin has started to get into the mix as they would say. And uh, a, a, right a right from Jude again. Backs Innes up against the rope. And uh, left and right. And he's beating Innes. And what a shot. What a shot. And the crowd has gone. The crowd has gone crazy here. With that left shot that took Innes. Tongue to the canvas. And... Uh, Jude Franklin really showing, and uh, this guy is showing some power in his hand. And uh, if I have to pick another boxer over the last couple of days here, besides Anthony Joseph, I would say Jude Franklin is the man. And uh, what is nice about what is nice about Jude Franklin, he has just started in the amateur field. And if he keeps with what we are seeing here, I think that this guy definitely is another great amateur boxer on the rise. Still a bit groggy there is Innes. And uh, Jude Franklin is the new 2015 60 kg open boxing champion. So it's nice that in his first major competition, he has walked away as the champion. As we continue here now with bout number 10, as we have two boxers who are in the ring for the very first time. Uh, they won both their bouts by way of walkover. So this is the first real taste of action that these two individuals will be having. We have in the red corner, we have Christian McDonald from Ultimate Boxing Gym. That's young Christian McDonald. And in the blue corner, we have Justin Paris. Uh, Justin Paris is represented as the Trinidad Tobago Boxing Association. He is one of the young national team members.
So we have McDonald in the red, Paris in the blue. Uh, no. This is a uh, this is a slug fest here. Put. Paris with his low and uh, McDonald standing upright. Paris backs up McDonald against the rope, but McDonald throwing a number of punches. Uh, good movement there by McDonald to evade some of the punches thrown by Paris. Uh, a, a, a good right hand there by McDonald. A uh, good right hand there but by, by McDonald, but for some reason he walks away. And uh, Paris, Paris with some shots of his own. So this is another interesting bout we're seeing here. A, a, a glancing right hand there coming from McDonald. A right hand from Paris. Nicely evading the punches there is McDonald. And he stands in the middle of the ring. Two shots by Paris there missing the mark. So good movement again in the ring here from McDonald. Evading a lot of punches from Paris. Paris backs up McDonald. And, and, and a left from Paris. And McDonald turns him around there. Paris, a good body shot there from McDonald. But Paris stands in front of him there. Not moving is Paris. And uh, McDonald keep, uh, right from McDonald to the side of J Paris face. Uh, that's the end of the first wrong here, but a uh, good wrong here for young Christian McDonald. Both boxers showing good punching power. As I said, J Justin Paris, relatively new on the scene but a good boxer, a good accomplished young boxer. Saw him last year in the championships. And Christian McDonald. So we could afford to say that the amateur association, box, amateur boxing that is, is really on a good footing here. We are seeing a lot of young, talented boxers. We saw Jude Franklin, we saw uh, we are seeing McDonald, and earlier we saw the brilliant performance of Anthony Joseph. And that's the bell indicating the start of the second rung here. And McDonald using that jab nicely and going to the body, uh, having uh, Paris, forcing Paris actually to, to stretch to get to close that distance. But Paris backs McDonald up against the rope, a, a right from Paris. But Paris, but McDonald, McDonald defense is, is good at times. A lot of the, the, the shots from Paris is being connected and, uh, on the gloves and, or from, uh, but Paris is turning the tables here uh, against McDonald. 
I uh, see Bucks McDonald up against the corner of the the, the, the ring. I think uh, McDonald got caught there trying to fix his head guard, but he comes back out there continuing with that jab, sticking that jab into the face of McDonald. And again, catching McDonald. McDonald has to come under that jab, and he has to bend a bit low. Uh, left hand from from Paris. Both boxers in close quarters there. A lot of punches being thrown. Paris, a strong lad. A wild swing in there by McDonald. Right from McDonald, but, but Paris stands in front of him. Pa Paris has McDonald against the rope there, and both boxers exchanging in close quarters. McDonald, Paris is scoring some shots as well as McDonald. A very fast pair of hands is, has McDonald as he comes out nicely. And uh, it's again we see uh, we, 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 we see uh, Paris there, and we entered it the last ten seconds here of the second round. A right from McDonald, a, a left, a right from McDonald is met by a right from uh, Justin Paris, and another good. Wrong of boxing and is going to come down to the final wrong here now this is a close fight definitely this is a close fight so far both boxers scoring and a lot of the punches are being thrown in close quarters so the judge is going to have definitely going to be having the final say here in this bout but so far it's an entertaining bout between Kristen McDonald and Justin Paris get set here for the third and final round in what so far has been a great exhibition of boxing skill by Krista McDonald and Justin Paris. McDonald in the red and Paris in the blue. Both boxers in the middle of the ring. Now it's, it's a good shot there from McDonald. A good shot again from McDonald. A miss there by Paris. A, a right from McDonald. A, a, a tapping jab there from um, McDonald to the head of Paris. Pa McDonald with another a right from Mac from McDonald as he bounces off the rope. Both boxers stand toe to toe in the middle of the ring. Uh, 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 right from McDonald. So, a uh, left from McDonald, from Paris. Uh, a uh, right from McDonald. Paris showing some signs of tiredness here, blowing heavily from the mouth. Punches now lacking power. A 
right from McDonald. So Paris seemed to be wearing down here now. Not as busy as he was, uh, allowing uh, McDonald to evade punches easily. Now, again, I missed the uh, uh, right, a uh, looping right there from uh, McDonald on the side of the face of Paris. So Paris definitely losing steam here in the uh, right from McDonald. Paris trying to rally some shots here, but some fast pay, the fast pair of hands of McDonald call for a shot there to the back is McDonald. A right from McDonald. McDonald, uh, Paris, taking too long now, and you've seen he's just waiting for that one big shot there. Is is Paris? Is Paris, and a right from a right and a left there from from McDonald has Paris stumbling, and another great bout here, another great exhibition of amateur boxing here at the Cosmic Gym in Maribella as we continue with the action from the 2015 National Championship. Yeah. And the decision uh, time is here. And Christian McDonald is the 64 kg U 2015 champion. And as I said, a brilliant performance. Yet again, a great exhibition of amateur boxing here. We, ha we, we, have se we, we have seen some great bouts thus far on tonight's card. So, I think the fight of the final night is coming up in a while. And we have uh, young Michael, Michael Alexander. And Michael Alexander is the Commonwealth bronze medalist in the last Commonwealth Games. And uh, Michael Alexander is one of the elite boxers in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, bronze medal in the 2014 Commonwealth Games. Michael Alexander has been representing Trinidad and Tobago at some of the major competitions. He has had some stints in Cuba, and uh, great things is anticipated for Michael Alexander. His opponent is going to be John Paul Cooper, and John Paul Cooper is one of those boxers who have been in the shadow for a while now, a very great fighter and uh, this bout is going to be a thriller I can assure you viewers that this bout is going to be filled with excitement and we have seen in the last couple bouts that what has been exhibit here, exhibited here at the gym in these finals is great boxing skills so we have as I said the 2014 Commonwealth bronze medal champion Michael Alexander in the blue corner and in the red corner we have Ja Paul Cooper and I could quickly note here is that we have seen here covering amateur boxing over the last five or six years we have seen Michael Alexander coming into the ring as a youngster as a little boy as they would say and we saw him grow up in the very ring to where he is today. One of Trent Abigo, top boxer, who is regarded as an elite boxer. So it's the 64 kg open category. Cooper in the red and uh, Alexander in the blue. Boxers receiving their final instructions. And uh, that's the start of the first round.
Alexander, one of those boxers who from small always give the the fans great excitement. A very skillful and fast boxer is Alexander. Cooper on the other hand, being around for some time hasn't really risen up to the expectations that we would have liked to see, but maybe this is his time if he can pull off a victory over young Michael Alexander. Alexander never in a hurry, a left hand there from, from Alexander. Alexander never in a hurry, always seems to have all the time in the world is Alexander. A right hand from Alexander. Cooper trying to get something going there, but so you're seeing all the experience here from Alexander. A good body shot there by Alexander. Ties up Cooper. As I continue to say, the only boxer that can keep his hands as low as Alexander does and still recovers quickly is Alexander himself. So I would advise the young boxers, do not try to be like Michael Alexander. He is very, very fast and quick. So those hands sometimes can reach up to his face in a twinkle of an eye. Good movement of the head there by Alexander to evade the punches. And, and, see, and you can see the quickness of Alexander, what I was speaking about. See how quickly those hands came up from under his waist there and uh, connected a, a shot there from Cooper. A good strong shot again there from Alexander. A right from Alexander. So... Good for strong, not much action, but we can rest assured that it's not going to remain like that in the second and third round once Michael Alexander is in the ring. So we get, we are actually in the second round. Both boxers just feeling out each other here in the opening of the second round. So what we and a shot from Alexander. It didn't seem to carry much punch, but certainly <laughs> it had Cooper rolling in the ring. So we're still in the second round here. And we're seeing the punching power now of Alexander. Alexander. 
and you can see, see how quickly Alexander evades the punches. And what we are seeing here is, I, 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 I'm, I'm certain Alexander is not really giving his all here. He's doing just enough to win this, this bout. Uh, uh, left from Alexander. I see the head, the hand goes way below the knee. And he pays the punches nicely there is Alexander. Two good shots there from Alexander. So Alexander piling up the punches here, piling up the points actually, are right from Alexander. Another, another right from from Alexander. So Alexander picking his punches now. As I said, doing just enough to win this bout. Not exerting himself too much. It's, it's Ja Paul Cooper who has to take the fight to Alexander. Good. You see Alexander calling him there. And that's the end of the second round. This is, viewers, if you are now joining us, this is the final night of boxing here at the Cosmic Gym. This is the finals of the Trinidad and Tobago Amateur Boxing Association 2015 National Championships. And tonight is just about crowning the champions in the different weight divisions. We definitely have seen some great boxing bouts here thus far. And we are witnessing another great bout here between the 2014 Commonwealth champion, bronze medal uh, champion, Michael Alexander and Ja Paul Cooper. So far, Alexander is having the better of the exchanges. This is the third and final round here. And uh, Cooper will have to come at Alexander, trying a, a looping right hander that misses the mark. Most of Cooper punches are not really hitting the target. Uh, a right hand from Alexander. And, and, and some rough tactics there by Cooper, trying to rough up Alexander, but. So the bout resumes. This is the third and final rung. So some jabs there by Alexander, followed by the right. Cooper trying to get to the body there, but is tied up there by Alexander. All right, again. A right again by Alexander there. Cooper evading some of the punches. So smart boxing here by Alexander. He knows he has already pile up a lot of punches here now and it's just waiting for the end of the round here. Cooper on the other hand has to come at Alexander because he's trailing. Again another shot at the side of the head of Cooper. A strong body shot there by Alexander. All right from Alexander. Cooper walks in. 
Cooper walks into a left. from Alexander, straight right. Uh, Michael Alexander ties up Cooper. Cooper getting in a shot there to the body. One of the rare shots that he has been able to. A, 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 a strong right hand there again from Alexander. Comes off the arm of the elbow actually of, of Cooper. Into the last 10 seconds. And that's the end of this bout here. And as I said, Alexander not doing not over boxing here but doing just sufficient to get the victory over John Paul Cooper. Well we go ringside now for the official results. The winner of the 2015 National Championship here is uh, Michael Alexander.